In this tutorial, I will show you how to unbrick a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 based Samsung Galaxy S3, which includes most US models except for the Verizon. This will really only require materials you likely have a you likely already have. The materials you'll need. Your S3, a 16 or 32 gigabyte micro SD card with a speed of either class 10 or any UHS speed class. This will not work if you use a card with less than 16 gigabyte or more than 32. You'll need an adapter to insert it into your computer or a card reader. It's important that you not insert it into a different phone or other device as this file repartitions the card and does not simply write a file. You'll need a wall charger as USB power is not always completely reliable at least with some computers. You'll need a computer with at least Windows XP Vista or 7 are recommended though. You will need the debrick image for your device located in the link below. Make sure you match the model name exactly as any other image will fail. They can also they can be found in the link in the description. You will also need a partition viewer to make sure that the image has actually written properly. Mini tool is what I will be using for this demonstration. And lastly, you will need the disk Im the disk imager that can be found in the description. This guide is for hard bricked Gal Samsung Galaxy S3s that are bricked because of a bad bootloader, modem, boot partition, firmware, flash, or others, and since it exploits a backdoor hack, any warranty is completely void after using this. Let me repeat, this will void your warranty if you have any left at from bricking. Proceed at your own risk. Getting started on the guide. First, you will need to download the necessary files from the link provided and gather all materials. Then, insert the SD card into the adapter and insert the SD adapter into your computer. Make a backup of all the data on the SD card as it will be wiped when you write the image. Use the disk imager to burn the image to the SD card. Press write. Confirm the prompt. And wait. Again, press OK. Close the disk imager. Open the partition editor. And make sure that the SD card had a completely error free write. The partition table will likely look something like this. If you still only have one partition, 
either it wrote the single file or it didn't actually write. So close, eject the card, Take the card out of the adapter. Take the battery out of your S3. Put the micro SD card into your S3. Put the battery back into your S3. And then press and hold the power button. This may take in excess of 10 seconds. I have had times it has taken over 15. And it may take two or three tries. However, eventually it will boot. If the brick was only because of a bad bootloader, you're out of the woods. Otherwise, you can use Odin mode to flash a recovery manually, and then just install a ROM from sideload. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll rate the video if it helped.